want to go a little deeper. We want to understand the roots of this. What do you think it means to look at the roots of Saigu? Well, um, people may just look and gloss over, as you say, um, at the ultimate, you know, outcome. But I think when people uh, can look at why people ultimately behave the way that they behave. I think it would allow us to find a pathway to finding better solutions for how our communities can forge better, stronger relationships. Um, and so um, there's a context in which uh, the players, the game board has been set up in which um, I, I bring up the squid game um, for those who watched, there was a game master who set up a game in which the players, the only way that they could win was by hurting and killing each other. And um, I think that in many ways, as communities of color um, and immigrant communities, uh, we end up uh, perhaps fighting over you know, a small piece of the pie. And there are myths that we end up um, telling one another and that have been fabricated or may not be the whole truth. And I believe that when we understand uh, those roots of how we ended up where we ended up, um, I think that, again, we have a better chance of finding better solutions versus um, perhaps just wholesale, you know, stereotyping groups of people as being racist or they're criminals or, you know, thugs or whatever it may be. Um, and so I think, again, uh, studying the roots will be enlightening. And from what I've experienced, um, it fosters better understanding. It opens eyes, opens hearts. Um, and I think it opens opportunity for true solidarity.